Guys, it is fucking 92 goddamn degrees in my office. Now it's, yes, 92. Well, I have to react to this bitch becoming your guys' newest fetish. Just look at that title name. You seem pretty stiff, senpai. I'll do it for you, senpai. Seems pretty sus to me. But it's Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagataro, episode 10. Let's go! Oh, so we're starting off fucking strong, huh? Steamy snaps? What is this? Snapchat premiums he's getting? First of all, who the fuck describes Snapchat premium pits as steaming piping hot? If my ass was it. Nani? Ma'am, it is too hot today to deal with your dumb bullshit. I can't can't deal with you just playing with my emotions talking about you saying you're gonna send some steamy snaps and what you have is fucking chicken fingers from burger king now to getting that one punch man's workout going on 100 push-ups 100 sit-ups and a 10 kilometer run pathetic oh so she does have standards for a man that she wants to be with secret training hey Hey yo, Nagatara with the bullshit today. So we're definitely gonna be getting a training montage with Naoto and Oh my god! Bruh, the ponytail with the sports tank and the sports shorts combo. That's all any person needs! And she's still hitting him with the noodle arm. They're about to go for a workout. Leave the man alone. You know what the crazy thing is about this? Naoto, I think, is wearing the exact same outfit that Saitama wore before, you know, he got all of his power. You know what the crazy thing is? Naoto's wearing Saitama's tracksuit that he wore... Wait, what are you... Quasar Natarai! boy, stay ahead. Do not, do not be tempted. Don't be tempted. Thing is, he's not even trying to race. He's trying to avoid looking at that ass. You know, this is the equivalent of a woman telling me that I'm garbage. He's going Hulk mode! Yes! Yes, it does! It absolutely does! Also, let's keep this in mind. She's literally trying to motivate this man, and what she did was just insult him. Motherfucker, I would literally just be done for the day. But he got that good workout in! Good shit! Good shit! Now some good shit! Bro, the confusion on his face of trying to stretch after a run amazes me because I don't even know what a fucking stretch is after running. All I do is do cardio, weights, and I just pl probably play basketball afterwards. Otherwise, this is... We're gonna move on. Now, Tom, I need you to stop looking! Stop looking! Oh, she's about to probably snap his back! Fusion Ha! Of course you love dogs, Yoshi. But can she be go- Who should I get to model? Hmm, I don't know. Is there somebody who always comes into the art room and fucking bother is this bitch? No, but seriously, just fucking ask her, dog. She's literally been in your art room about... about 90% of the time that y'all have been, the, like, friends. If what you guys can call what they're doing being friends. Since all she does is, you know, fucking insult him all the time. What, you got a problem with him drawing another guy? That's gotta be the most adorable way of saying, I can't look at you because I blush too much. Hey, wait, what is she doing? Hmm? Jesus Christ, you kept that from like a couple episodes ago. What the shit? She used it as ammo! Huh? Um... Now, Dalto? You're saying some particular words to her, especially after she showed you that picture. I'm just, just throwing that out there. That was his plan. You ingenious motherfucker! His intelligence is on the same level as late Yagami! Somebody get this man the fucking death note! Staring out the window like a villain should. Wonder who's coming nip. I absolutely cannot believe that she actually has gotten a furry outfit. She's Nagataro, the cat girl now. Wait, I just realized something. She's got her cat outfit now. Is this... Is this sort of the art saga? Where they're, we're gonna meet the one and only art president? That means I think we're winding down to the last couple of episodes then, because I think that would mean episode 12 would be the last one, because we're getting to a pretty important arc right now. 
ultimate attack windmill and then the rest of the horsewomen are creeped out by the fact that she's a furry i see haunted house i see the word junji i see respect the fucking junji ito thank you creator for showing some respect fucking love it i knew your ass was a fucking e-girl helping out with the gaming club guys i'm gonna warn you about this right now the culture festival is uh it's going to be a very important character development arc, especially for Naoto. This will honestly be the point where we actually see Naoto grow from being like this timid character that we've known since like episode one to like someone who wants something more, somebody who is going to stand up and, you know, do something. You know what I mean? One of the main characters that helps him realize the type of person he needs to be, which is a strong stand up type of art student is the art president which is right here so buckle up for this art also fun thing this is the first time you actually see naoto this deep in thought about anything oh uh, king k rule would be so proud of you how are you guys gonna make it more hype you guys are gonna summon all the demons of the nine stages of fucking hell since you guys are i don't know are the four fucking horsewomen of the goddamn apocalypse wait cat cafe Guys, I, I want y'all to think about this. I want y'all to think about this. Hear me out. Cat cafe. It's not like a maid. It's not like maid cat. It's like a maid cafe. But girls dressed up as cats. Now, I'm not a furry. But, uh... I'd be down. Okay, not gonna lie. Senpai over here making the maid outfit look pretty damn good. Props to you. Also, a little detail we don't really know until now. She wants Naoto to still be like that loner type of loser person so that she can have him all to herself. Which shows that she really does like him for him. And that if he changes and becomes, you know, cool and popular, she's afraid that he might become somebody else. Also... I think I know who's about to come because he fucking heard the footsteps and uh, those shoes look mighty, uh, mighty uh, familiar. All right, real talk. How many girls are about to be cosplaying as her? Because goddamn, she looks good and she's got red eyes. You have a reason to use those red contacts besides using them for fucking Sasuke, Itachi, or Kurapika. Dude, she is not with the shit. If you also pay attention during this exchange, like when you watch it on your own, notice how like literally she's staring at him like straight in the face and is noticing certain things that he's doing that is different from how she knows Naoto. She's noticing that he's changing and she's, uh, to me, it's one of those things of like she's not used to him being like the way he is. And as you can see, with that stare, that one little stare, Naoto's kind of like, oh shit, maybe I shouldn't be doing all of this. See what I mean? And then you have Nagatara over here, who literally doesn't like how the art president is actually, you know, attacking Senpai like that. Which shows that her feelings for him has went beyond just, you know, teasing. You know, for a live reaction, I'm getting very, really analytical about this, uh, about this arc, but I think it's honestly because... This is one of those arcs where, like, it's it's very character development focused, and that's what I appreciate about this show. Like, all throughout these episodes, they have been funny, but this is the critical episode. This is the critical arc in which we will see the change in all the characters. No! You can't submit it to the student council! The art room is all- Nani? Aw, oh, shit! It's the standoff! The president versus Nagataro! Ooh. Ooh, she said you a little bit selfish. She said you talking all that good shit. Neglected and shit. Now you showing up out of nowhere because you ain't doing your fucking job. She's like, do your job. Do your job, bitch. Yeah, exactly, because she's always in here fucking teasing him and seeing him work hard. She admires this man. As much as she teases this man, she admires him from a distance. She's like, damn, now tell you work hard as fuck. Honestly, this also does show, <laughs> like, the person who's watching, this really shows her, like, shows them that, like, they really evolved their relationship from just, like, 
tease and like play thing to like they're basically equals bro she is really coming into play as like the arc's antagonist i love it and she's got the finger wave thing going on too the challenge has been laid down all he has to do is get more votes for his exhibit than the art presidents and Naoto keeps the uh, art room with everybody. And that's all that Naoto needs! Nagataro's confidence! Oh yeah, the Culture Festival arc is starting to start, baby! It's getting... Wow! As you guys can easily tell, this is actually one of my favorite arcs out of the Nagataro series. Look, I'm just saying, I'm a sucker for character development stories. And this arc right here is really the turning point for how Naoto and fucking Nagatara's relationship will be. Like, everything will still be the same. Like, they'll still act like the act like how they have been these past episodes. But this is literally the arc in which Naoto will have to learn to, you know, come to his own. I mean, if you guys agree with me, let's have a discussion in the comments. Let's have a discussion about this, uh, about the arc, about the culture festival arc. Like, talk with me. Other than that, sub to me on YouTube. I'll be posting up another Nagataro uh, episode reaction and everything, yada yada. Uh, follow me on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash VDJ. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. You guys take care, and I'll see you guys next time.